So I was wondering if you're optimistic there's going to be reform in the interrogation techniques of intelligence and military, like where you see it going and whether your perspective is shared and becoming at all popular? It is. Uh, I, I do know from hearing, I mean, I'm in touch with other interrogators that there's definitely been a change. I mean, there was supposed to be a change after the Detainee Treatment Act in 2005. Uh, but I can say that I don't think all units were completely compliant in 2006. Uh, and I think the Presidential Task Force uh, on Interrogation and President Obama's policy uh, of no torture for, across the entire government on his uh, second day in office was historic. And I think that was the right path to set to bring us back to where we need to be in interrogations. Uh, the thing that really, the other thing about torture that really bothers me is that it casts doubt on our abilities as interrogators to do our job. I don't need, you know, the waterboarding technique was, was designed and brought up and created and pushed by two psychologists, not interrogators. Interrogators, every experienced interrogator I know of, from people I've worked with in the FBI, to the military service, to the local police, NYPD, they don't ever ask to use torture or waterboarding. They're extremely confident in their abilities to get information without using torture or abuse. Uh, I recently spoke with one of the first FBI agents uh, on the ground, Guantanamo Bay, and he shared the same thing with me. He said, you know, from the first day down there, I knew we didn't need those things. I, was, I had no doubt in my mind that my, myself and my agents uh, could effectively interrogate members of Al-Qaeda. We have to remember that Al-Qaeda is not rank-and-file soldiers. This isn't an army. The Army Field Manual was designed to interrogate Army uh, <coughs> soldiers from the Cold War. But Al-Qaeda is organized like a criminal gang, or like a drug gang, or, or a, a mafia, if you will. And so criminal investigative techniques actually work better than, or in conjunction with, the methods in the Army Field Manual. And I think there is progress. I think the Presidential Task Force, which is due to report in two months, uh, will show that we're going to improve our methods, we're going to include criminal investigative methods, and we're going to get better.